guy is. Neutral items, that's why we've got a, a split between yeah. between core alone. You got so many item slots. You got so many backpack slots. <laughs> Clear. That's true. It seems like Armel knows what's going on here. Yeah, well, he should. He saw this, but now the TP coming in, is it too late? Lion's been turned on. There's the IR arriving, but the first blood comes out. And I, he knew this. There was a ward that spotted out the rotation. In fact, Tusk even placed the ward under that vision. Kim's time, but like they're not really shutting down the centaur at all. KP's getting really good farm and pretty good CS in the lane. Nine? He's dead? He just TP'd back as well. Uh, That's going to be a walk of shame uh, for him. Dude, you go to some oh, guy. No. Oh, oh, March. They're not going to that guy. I think I know what yeah. your point was, though. You just want to shovel yeah, next yeah, yeah. to them and then cast. Yeah, yeah. So you, just, you shadow blade up next to them, then you uh, trusty shovel. Clear. If it's a panic roche, there's just salves all around the ground. You can't oh, even get it. KP. KP. They will get him, though. He'll stop them, but he will not escape from this as he gets body blocked in. And look at that. Bounty rune. Perfect. The ganking top, but here comes the counter gank. TNC. Lift. KP has the stampede. Moo's going to get hit by Stomp. Nine gets the Requiem out. Moo, he's going to stay alive. Nope. We'll go down the end of the poison attack and the snowball chase across on the Rubik. He'll be brought down in response. A one for one trade, but now Armel will force them back. As KP moves across to take the outpost, they can't stop him. Even if he dies, it's worthwhile for him. He'll try and move away now. They should have another race to get rid of him, but there's no mana there. And now KP, can he buy enough time? Stomp comes out. Might set up for a kill now to nine. As they chase across, do find Moose in the tree line. Double kill for nine. Will TP away, but we'll be interrupted as Gabby arrives. The avalanche toss gets the kill onto the SF. Absolutely, and this is kind of a show off of the new SF, right? It used to be that that type of fight for an SF is just awkward. Requiem never feels right to pop. You don't do anything with it. It's this type of hero that sits there and waves and goes, guys, pay attention to me, but you just ignore him and kill everyone around him. But now, with the new one, with the fear that comes out from that Requiem, suddenly he's a big, impactful hero. Bot lane. KP gets hit up by the Doom. They deal kill off the Io, but they can't find the Centaur now. However, they might find something bigger as Armel was rotating around. They'll turn around and drop him as J Storm rotate for this bot tower. To also try and defend bottom. I think they would have been better off just like to sack bottom, take some more farm across the map, clear out the entire dire jungle, maybe try and get a ward down somewhere. However. They have a reload coming in. Yeah, Guys. they're going for it. Can they get him, really, with the Scorched Earth? He's running pretty fast. One more club in the tree, and there it is. The power of Io Tiny compels you. Just becomes, like, a top-tier pick. I mean, it's pretty good now. Like, you could just grab some cheap items if you know you're regularly going to get the bear. Look at this. Just leave it around. Notice the rotation. We'll try and run across, but nine's quicker. And then, oh, just TP away. We'll be interrupted. Can they farm the bear? Maybe. With this many heroes, I think Tim's pet is going to go to an early grave. Moment of moment of respect for the bear that once was. And Tim's is a I terrible pet owner. <laughs> I'm playing something like Earth. I'm like, please let me find the fangs, please. Save me that money that would be spent on a morbid mask. Right. TNC are super split. They storm. They want to fight right now. And there it is. They'll go for the club. They stop the double doom, though. As the Soulbind is not connected. Now the Stampede going to come in for the double doom now. Io looking to reload out. But the use is going to be there to disrupt it for the moment. They will mech up and look to fight. The lift comes out. The doom used in return on deny means he can't spam out the Requiem or the Razors. And suddenly, J Storm were the ones on the retreat. That was their initiation as backfired quickly. Toss forward. Into the stomp. But Snowball dodged out. They'll keep moving through with the Avalanche. They do find the kill under fear in the meantime. And Moose will be the follow-up as J-Storm lose both their supports and all their big combos. They might even lose more here. There. They haven't got the Avalanche for five seconds. Looks like J-Storm should be able to get their cores out, but still a costly fight. Low, but not dead. KP is pretty low as well. They might try and turn around. Yule's going to come out. Requiem trying to bomb onto him. We'll force him away. And with a raise follow-up, Tiny should be going down as his sense he can't turn around to fight. Fade Bolt trying to reduce the damage, but it won't stop the kill. And then the tree line, they will find March as well. So a quick turnaround from J-Storm after losing a big fight. A little bit off. Reload? Uh, we'll see. It might get changed. Gone bot. Ooh. They just want this tower. Uh, the glyph's going to come out. They're going to be punished. Yule's going to be there. Requiem follow up. It's going to force them away from each other. It's going to break the tether. The snowball through. And there's the war's punch to kill off March. And Gabby, he's stuck in no man's land. He cannot even TP away. His Brax is waiting on top of him. Avalanche just trying to get the gap. He knows that Doom is available. So there's no point in TPing. The best you can do is waste their time. Little Duke. Gabby. Is he No. No, he doesn't. There's the roar. Moose spots him out, and now they'll chase him down to finish him off. Waste a little bit of their time, but big kills found by J Storm again. Hurricane Pike. 
Uh, Jason, we're gonna force them to defend this. They, they, they have to come back. They needed to try and threaten something. Look at this tower just go. <laughs> you need, yeah, you need to stop this bear right now. They're just standing back and it's like, all right, let our pet do the work. This is uh, a free day for us. Pet slavery is all the rage here. They'll keep the bear alive, actually. They won't even get the kill on it. There you go. They force everyone from the side of TNC back. TNC looking to play that split game. Looking to actually draw JSTORM and split them up. But instead, they're the ones who are forced to respond with five and they get nothing for it. In fact, that might be a turnaround. Nine. He's probing. Does have that yules, but they are under vision. The smoke. Things are coming out. KP jumps in. Stomp on a one. Doom the target. Now the soul is going to be there. Stampy to get them away. The BKB activated. Yule's coming on to two. They have got the Doom available. They'll throw it out as well. And with a Rec Room, they just drag them away from each other. Rubik would down. KP will follow up. as another death for the side of TNC with the buyback coming out from Rubik. Is there a turnaround? Armel trying to move forward with Hurricane Pike. Not close enough. A move with a pair. Goes in straight away. The Savage Raw. Io. Much might be brought down. Mech just in time though. Now Avalanche toss turn around with the Mask of Man. There's the bear. One more hit. Toss through. Gets blocked by nine. And in response, Moose does go down to arm out. They take two separate small engagements. The skirmishes are over. And all of a sudden, JSTORM decide to disengage. They got one decent buyback, but nothing more. The roar comes out. They find Fear hiding in the tree line, trying to TP away. Just to deal with it. But this is what I was expecting TNT to do earlier when their bottom side was getting threatened. Just walk into Roshan and take it. No. But they do now. The other side hasn't found Nightmare yeah, just yet. Good. They're smoking instead. They're rotating around the back. J-Storm are looking to go on the prowl. And they might run it into the IO tiny combo. I'm not sure that's the way you want to end up the fight, though. Sento's not there either. They have got the double okay. doom. Jump in. Nine. Gets the yours out on the tiny. You can separate him from the team. They'll club him down with the avalanche by some time. Trying to move away. Silence. We'll get rid of it quickly. But on top of him now with the tag team as well. They'll bring him down. That is the Aegis gone already. Stab B's going to be a snowball to chase forward onto KP. Gabby, he's back in the fight once more. Soulbinder comes out, though. The double doom is going to be used straight away. Nine with the Requiem coming out after just a clutch BKP. Allows them to turn around and bring down the center. Ice Shards does trap in Tiny. Gabby's still pretty tanky, though, on the side. March will be brought down. And all of a sudden, TNC, they need to abort and get everyone out that they can. Yules blink away just in time by nine. Snowball for in the meantime. Wars punch out and Armel is dead. And Chase is on. Tims is under his tier one tower, but they see a bigger target. BKB coming out from Brax so he can stand a fire up against Gabby. And they slay the Tiny. A huge fight from JStorm. 3k up now in the net worth, and that Aegis achieves nothing for the side of TNC. So nice. They get the Aegis absolutely for free. The snowball from Moose keeping people alive a little bit afterwards. KP, I think his initi initiation a little bit mistimed with the way that the Aegis respawn was going. And the, the only bright spot in that fight for TNC was the fact that the you know they got the lift on the Shadow Fiend that almost killed him in time. But now they, they have to buy back. They have to defend. They need to they defend, but Rubik, yeah, he's gone. Remember, he pulled back before as well, Moose. Snowball's out. Will he make his escape here? He has no blink. The Wars Punch before going to his grave. And they do hold by looks of it. KP will even ensure they bring down the bear. So JSTORM, they disengage. It is guaranteed if SF is in the area and the Spirit Bear is hitting that target. That's it. Th those are the only two steps. The 10 armor value, because that's like the big point at where you see a huge increase in damage Ooh. reduction. And there's a coming. smoke. Going in. Going KP the KP. target. They don't want him to get the stampede out in time. He's last up as well. BKB's going to be activated. The chase is on. Yules into the Rec Room to stop any sort of escape. Stampede is initiated just in time. The Doom was thrown out as well in the meantime with the Io. So that should be a disengage after a one for one trade. However, the Fear coming out. Scaring away Tiny. Gabby's going to get rooted up and killed off by the Bear. The Toss Avalanche afterwards does nothing. And the Doom in return from Tim's is pretty lackluster. We'll scare away the SF but the damage already done. Leech is going to come out, bring them together with the Soulbind, and now Viper will wrist punch up into the air. You ain't coming down alive. They're going to chase on to March next. He has no one to tether to, no one to escape onto, and SF while doomed will fight him as they clean up KP on the back line. It's a team wipe, and TNC, that was even another buyback coming out. And the Rubik managed to throw it over onto the Shadow Fiend, so reducing Nine's damage by a lot, but... Oh my god, here we go. Sour. And this, this is Shadow Fiend's not even here yet, KP. No, no, he he's off uh, he's buying new treats. He's got an E-blade. He wants to blow up Tim's he just bought back. And here he comes right, on the bear. Go. 16 minus 24. <laughs> let's let's go. Now now I'm not I'm not any like math degree person, but but these numbers look bad. It's, they look really bad for TNC. That's a mini rack's already gone, the range rack's to follow suit. 
Do you feel like a second lane, JStorm? Oh, wait, no, the bear will just run away. Spider legs. Inkswell. Anything else? Nah, that'll do. And TNC. They are, they are looking at this right now. They're going, how the hell is it we've picked IO Tiny and we're not the building destroyers in this game? No mobility skill. So just sit in these fights. Oh, there's going to be another fight. He all scares him away. One hit afterwards and he's gone. DDSF. Fear it. Yeah. Not sure if it's fair to call that a fight. That, that seemed, more uh... a massacre. <laughs> yeah, yep, yep. You know what that is? That's like, uh, it's like in one of those movies when the knights just roll through the, the village and they just kill the poor little farmer guy. They yeah. haven't even found the main force. That that fight is going to happen afterwards. And right now, J-Storm, they look like pimped out knights and TNC are the ragtag group of rebels trying to hold them off. And they still have no viper for 40 seconds. Just, it's just, yeah, just spider legs the bear in there. Let's go. <laughs> This for some sort of response. The roar is off the mark, but there is the Soulbind coming out with the Eels as well. They can set this up perfectly. They'll jump in. Double Doom coming out. And the Stampede to try and disengage is too late. Gabby will go down and I will follow suit. They're both dead. The base is going to be broken in an instant as we see the minus armor coming into full effect. And this will be Mega Creeps. TNC, what is your bounce back plan here? They haven't GG'd out. They think there is some sort of move to be made. T well, TNC just never... They don't call it before the throne explodes. You gotta believe right until the end. And this looks like the end. Tim's dead for 100 seconds. A snowball across the KP. The GG comes out. Centaur runs away and says, please don't kill me. Just take the game. And actually, they almost destroy the Ancient before the GG tap out. <laughs> they are looking good, though. Looking really good. I, I think the lesson here, base Kip, is... You know what I was saying... How do you beat an IOTA?